So these guitars are heavy, they're loud, and they're made out of the same stuff as your kitchen sink, and you need one. Why? We're talking inspiration today on Mule School. So what is inspiration? Inspiration is not the romantic idea that you're waiting around for the musical gods to descend upon you and gift you with a creative musical idea. It's simply making different musical choices. And when you put it like that, you're on the hook because now you're able to build inspiration. You can put pieces together and be inspired. There's a couple ways of doing it of uh, building inspiration and one of the ways is the tools that you use and I went through a long time of kind of a revolving door of gear where I would buy instruments and it was kind of like well maybe Madagascar Rosewood Dreadnought is the answer and I'd get it and it wouldn't really take me anywhere new or maybe low output pickups was the answer and it really didn't take me anywhere new and after I started building these instruments, I realized their inspirational power because they are so different. They sound so different, they react so differently to the, to the energy you put into it that you can't get away with what you've normally been getting away with. And you hear different things, you feel different things, you make different musical choices. And that's what inspiration is. Then maybe you start listening to players who um, also wield these instruments and you start uh, learning things that way. Now an obstacle to resonators is that for the last hundred years they've been kind of stuck in a corner of one genre of music and that time is over. These are no longer blues instruments that need to be played with a slide and an open tuning with big necks and high setups. Um, what do Ario Posen and Joey Landreth and Marcus King and Tyler Bryant and Rebecca Lovell and Charlie Parr and Jeffrey Focal, what do they have in common musically? Almost nothing. And what that means is, is that there's a place for this instrument uh, with what you do. And you might be saying that, well, that's a lot of money for an instrument that I'm not going to play every song in my set. But the value is that this wakes up your ear and when you go back to your other instruments, now that's what's waking up your ear, right? And it's this, uh, now it's a revolving door of inspiration. Um, it's a little bit like mixing an album and coming back to it a couple weeks later and now hearing that the bass is too loud or the vocals have to come up a little bit. Um, and that's the power of having an instrument that's this different. So put yourself out there, get comfortable being uncomfortable, and uh, reap the inspirational benefits of having a tool that's uh, like this. <laughs>